this is eagle Al, and today i will be talking about jalen carter he can't be denied the nfl is seeing it also isaiah rogers he's working and lastly we got to talk about aj brown being ranked number two but you want to believe who's ranked ahead of him but let's get straight into it all right so before we get straight into it let's talk about saquon barkley so hard knots put out a teaser and they made it look like the giants offered them a contract and let me play this clip on the next hard knocks saquon barkley has burned down several different offers i offered him today a three-year deal at 12 and a half apy and 25 guaranteed he'd be a giant i'm gonna have a tough time sleeping if saquon you would see that and be like yo maybe he was offered a contract maybe saquon just didn't want to go back to the giants they dropped the episode i'm recording this around 10 to 11 o'clock at night i seen the episode they never offered them a contract because they believed the eagles contract was too steep and they clip baited us quote unquote or they preview baited us to believe saquon was offered a contract and he even retweeted something from a giants reporter like he was never offered a contract but shout out to the Giants, man, again, dropping great content on Hard Knocks. But this this GM, man, I think he's getting a, a little ahead of himself. And I think the same results will happen to the Tennessee Titans GM. It's going to happen to that guy. I don't want anybody to lose their job, but I believe it's going to be strictly off the performance of Saquon. That owner is really upset about Saquon leaving. And not just leaving, he went to the Eagles to play him twice a year twice a year so saquon yeah just keep doing you man I, I again i like saquon as staying in the shadows letting the giants do their propaganda because remember they had xavier mckinney they had a couple guys leave but they are focused on saquon barkley but hey as y'all accuse youtubers of doing our nuts got to get the clicks and the views too so they've been teasing this and teasing this and teasing this now it's over and hopefully hard knocks can talk about something else but again thank you for the great content all right so let's talk about jalen carter jalen carter just simply cannot be denied and why do i say this so pff put out the ranking of the top 50 players not top 50 defensive tackles and defensive ends top 50 players and jalen carter was the only rookie heading into the next season listed on that list i believe he was around 41 42 and Again, he can't be denied, man. Jalen Carter is a beast. He was a huge steal. I know some things happened in college, which we won't get into, the reason why he fell to the Philadelphia Eagles. But Jalen Carter is just proven like, yo, I'm the best defensive tackle. And he been keeping his nose down. Like Jalen Carter haven't been in any trouble. He just been working, playing great football. As far as with the Aaron Donald retirement, I think he's the next guy up and PFF is seeing this. The NFL is seeing it. Remember what Chris Long said? Like, yo, he made me want to go back and play football. Even Fletcher Cox was, was saying like, yo, if he work on these things, he can easily be the best. Slay co-signed this, baby Rhino. So look, Jalen Carter, keep doing you. I see him post on his IG story that he is working. He's grinding, getting to it. A lot of these dudes working and grinding and getting to it. Like I see Milton Williams. I always say this in my videos. Anytime I talk about a player working, he's been working his tail off. Milton Williams been working his tail off. I'm even hearing that he's in the gym now, like boxing. That helps with like um, stamina and stuff like that. So again, salute to Milton Williams and then the Jalen Carters and all these guys are really working. And not only will the boxing help with Milton Williams like stamina on the field, but it helps on what hand movement as well. So again, these dudes, I, I think they, I think they ready for training camp, man. We less than a week away, and a lot of these dudes are working. They're speaking of working, Isaiah Rogers, man, Isaiah Rogers is working. He dropped a clip for us showing that he is working. Got the Eagles gear on, and Isaiah Rogers. I love to talk about him because I love come up stories. You know, what well, six round pick go to the Colts and maybe he just would be a good returner in the league got his opportunity did his thing then the gambling thing happened got suspended for a year signed to the Eagles 
and a lot of people didn't know who he was and they was like maybe he could just be this good returner or maybe a backup cornerback with the philadelphia eagles and I, I think people forgot how good he was with the colts and what ended up happening is that we drafted two cornerbacks because we didn't know if he was going to get reinstated or not and when he got reinstated and everybody's like, yeah, Quinion and Cooper DeGene and this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm like, yo, Isaiah Rogers might be the best corner on this team. I was crazy for putting out that statement. I was crazy for putting out the statement. But I'm like, I'm telling you, look at the PFF numbers, look at the film, the tape, this and that. And a lot of people called me crazy. I'm like, okay, just watch and see. OTAs roll around. A lot of that talk changed. A lot of it changed. And now he's the top guy. Everybody can't wait to see him at trainer camp. I personally can't wait to see him at trainer camp. I even might go to the open practice to see them in person. And again, I, I like come up stories, man. I like what Isaiah Rogers is doing. I'm not saying this because he acknowledged me or who I am. I'm saying this because his play on the field is something something magnificent man the guy can play could definitely play as Devonte adams hell as the sean jackson as some of the your, your favorite receivers can isaiah rogers play and yes isaiah rogers can definitely play he can keep up with any receiver in the league don't let his height fool you know he's not six two six three it's about five ten ish five eleven and, and, and again he can play he can definitely play ball and Isaiah Rogers can't can't wait can't wait for you to see you in that midnight green. Hopefully, you know around December or something. I'm important that you got extended or something. So, again, salute to Isaiah Rogers. All right, all right. So let's talk about the I guess this topic, which somewhat pissed me off about AJ Brown. So AJ Brown, you know, he was ranked. He was ranked number two according to ESPN and you look at it like, Oh, number two, Eagle you tripping, tripping. I always say he's in the top three. You can mismatch Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, or AJ Brown. I believe Devontae Adams and you could say CD lamb is in that top five ish. You can mix them all around and whoever you pick, I wouldn't get too mad about, but if you pick like Devontae Adams, number one, I'm debating the hell out of you. Put CD Lamb number one, I'm debating the hell out of you. But like, if you got the Tyreek Hills and Justin Jefferson, I'm like, okay, it's not too much of a debate at that point. It's who you like. So not to drag this along. So they had AJ Brown number two and number one was Brandon Ayuk. ESPN, according to these data stats and uh, statistics and this and that, Brandon Ayuk was number one and AJ Brown was number two makes absolutely no sense absolutely no sense and that's why we say i love the numbers i love going over the numbers but sometimes the numbers can be manip manipulated in the ways you want it to be but sometimes you gotta just look at the eye test bro aj brown's a, a better pass catcher it's a very underrated route runner and being that big and you can route run is insane. He's a locomotive. He's faster than what you think. Brandon Ayuk is more of like a CD Lamb, and he's more of on the level of like the Devonta. And, and I believe Devonte Smith is better than Ayuk. Like he's in that top ten ish, and I will say he's honorable mention. And I will put Devonte Smith in that top ten, number nine, number ten. And Devonte Smith is definitely working his way up for sure. I believe Devontae Smith would be top five if we didn't have A.J. Brown, but you got to share the loaf. And Brandon Ayuk being the best receiver in the league? I, I think ESPN trying to get this dude paid. I think they trying to get him paid so he can argue that number or whatever. But 49ers, just to talk about him a little bit, are in shambles. Look, he won out. He want to get traded. But to be fair to the 49ers, I believe about two years ago, the same thing was happening with Debo Samuels. He wanted to be traded, this and that, causing Rutgers, and they end up paying him. And that's probably going to happen with Brandon Ayuk. Teams are calling. They're not trying to let him go. So hopefully they do. Hopefully they send him to the Steelers. You send them to the AFC. 
I'll be cool with that. Just don't send them to the commanders, please. Don't send them to the commanders. Even though I don't think the commanders will do anything with them. But just don't don't send them there, man. Just trying to play home twice. I, I, I really don't feel like the Eagles feel like what the Eagles going through that. Nah, send send them to send them to the Steelers or something, man. Make it easier on the NFC. Y'all go down, we go up, and we we didn't even get into the talk about CD Lamb, who might be out of Dallas. So we ain't gonna talk about that because this is definitely an Eagles channel. But I had to talk about my guy AJ Brown being disrespected. You can't say Brandon Ayuk is better. Now, if you had AJ Brown number one and everybody else behind him, I wouldn't care where you rank Brandon Ayuk, but put him number one, best in the league, better than AJ Brown, better than Justin Jefferson, better than Tyreek Hill. No way. <laughs> no way. But hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? The guys are working. Jalen Carter, uh, Isaiah Rogers. How do we feel about that? And also, AJ Brown, man, am I going off the rails here? He is ranked number two, but Brandon Nayuk is better? Absolutely not. This is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.